Mr. Town Council members, Mr. Williams, members of the public, the applicant, and all supporting officials. Well, I represent Matt Major Rossi, longtime resident, president of Community Place. And we, we want to thank you for your patience hearing this case. Every time I come to one of these hearings, I, I say to myself, there must be a better way. I, I had 18 nights of hearings in Summit, and I said, oh my God, it's, there must be a better way. But when you look at it, it's truly democracy in action. We've all had a chance to voice our concerns, and we do it in a peaceful way. Uh, and really what this case is about is whether we're going to have a liquor license at this particular site. And the standard, as Mr. Webster will tell you, you look at the community center, and if there's dangers to the public health, safety, morals, and general welfare, you have a right to turn this down as inappropriate. Now, Mr. Williams will try to tell you it's all about zoning. It's not about zoning. It's about whether this use of this liquor license is appropriate for this site. There's plenty of places you can go all over town. We all know that. Now, you've heard many members of the public. Many pillars of the community. You heard my client, Matt Major Rossi, long, long time resident. You heard Kathleen Highland, the former mayor of Morris Township. You heard the president of the D Hart condos. You heard many community place residents, many D Hart residents speak. You heard Dr. Marie Roseanne, a long time dermatologist in town, talk. You heard Patricia Rosenkill at 33 McCullough testify. And they all testified with a consistent theme. What was the theme? The theme was this bar is not appropriate at this site. We have too many there. We have problems. We have noise. We have vomit. We have vermin. We have unruly behavior. We have one of the former employees of town, and you all laughed at me, talk about when she went to municipal court about urination. It's a problem because of what goes on in this particular street. We have heard about the dangerous driving. God forbid someone's going to get killed over there. Council members, you've done a beautiful job. Councilman Deed, you talked about parking. Kudos to you. It's going to be a problem. We're overloaded there. You put your, you put your exhibit into evidence. Rebecca Feldman, you talked about what about the future people wanting to come here and pay a million dollars. They're going to look at this and say, I don't think I want to be across the street from a bowling alley. Councilman Wayne Smith Reed, you asked a very cogent question tonight. You talked about we bowl at 2 a.m. in the morning? Let's be candid. The former mayor, Morris Township, called it what it is. It's a front for a bar and a hangout. It's no good. You also had the testimony of the two witnesses on behalf of the applicant. And when you listened to them, it was half-baked. It was like a half-baked rotten chicken. And we know what happens when that happens. You get sick. They didn't have any experience in bowling alleys. They didn't know the hours. They didn't know the occupancy, and I heard more times when they talked about, we'll defer to the planning board. We'll defer to the planning board. And we know what that means. When it's half-baked, you've got a rotten situation. They didn't even know the hours. I was amazed. I was amazed. And the applicant admitted, and kudos to the applicant. I appreciate your honesty. The applicant talked about, and he admitted the problems. But what was his solution? Give us another bar, increase the problems, and we'll then go police it. And all the people here, they're not stupid. They know you put this here, what's going to happen? As Councilman, former Councilman O'Brien said, another pillar in the community said, it's going to end up down, down the street, further into the residential neighborhoods. You already have it down on 33 McCullough. Now it's going to be probably in the historic neighborhood. You have Donna McNamara, who said she loves the bars. But you know, she said, this isn't right for this town. It is not appropriate. I have to tell you, and I love bars, and I love to drink, and I love to be out there partying, but you know what? This is not the place. And don't be frightened by them coming and saying, we'll do this, we'll do that, and we'll, you can put a thousand people. The issue is, is it appropriate at this site? Because we know that license could be used elsewhere. You know, you ever see the movie, It's a Wonderful Life? Jimmy Stewart, one of my favorites. And Jimmy Stewart has a nightmare. He goes back and he's in Pottersville. Well, Pottersville's going to hell. Well, you know what? That's what this is all about. And you, council people, have an opportunity. An opportunity to say, no, we're not going to have more of this until they clean up what's going on there. And I'm going to look at each one of you. Councilman D, you're in the fourth ward. I want to end 
end up in your ward, the parking. Rebecca Feldman, this is in your ward. They're not happy over there. Council President, you represent the people at large. You heard the community sentiment. Think about it. Councilman Brandon Smith Reed, you heard some of your own constituents talk about the problems. And if it happens here, it can happen elsewhere. And finally, Stefan Armington, you had the guts in the, in the backbone to already turn one down. I hope you'll consistently do that. So all I would ask you to do something, Council, is to do something that's a rare thing in this town. Act unanimously and say no to this use because it's not appropriate for our beautiful town. Thank you.